Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I have a design team project today for Art Attack, and I will, of course, always leave a link to the store in the description. Um, it's artattacksupplies.com. That is Tracy's new store. Um, uh, I think she still has the the, the Zibit shop, excuse me, but everything is on the store, and you guys, and it's um, everything's on sale, almost everything's on sale, um, so go check it out. So anyhow... Sorry, like, I'm, like, barely awake right now. But I've been working on this project for a couple of days, and it's because the item I had to make for it, it takes a bit to make, uh, it takes, you have to make it and then let it dry. But anyway, I'll explain. I will show you in a moment. Okay, so, um, I used, sorry for the glare, you guys, the bottle caps. Now, she sent us, uh, the design team, these, um, bottle caps, and they have this very large one that goes along with the set. She also has these tiny, tiny ones. I used the biggest one in the set and I used one of these little tiny tiny ones for my project along with other stuff um, that uh, one stamps that, that she will also uh, probably have in her store message her if you're interested she can also order some stuff for you so where is the oh, okay here we go <laughs> kind of lost the stamp set alright so this one is called uh, Bonjour by Avery L and um, if you guys watch my videos or maybe heard me mentioned it, I'm, I'm I have like a serious sweet tooth, but I love French macarons. Like, like you guys would not believe. Like one day I'll go to Paris and I will just go to La Dure and just stuff myself to the point they have to roll me out, and I pretty much guarantee that. And then I'll probably never be allowed back in the country, but whatever, whatever. At least I'll have my my French macarons. And anyhow, oh, and also the. Thing that I made to add to this, they have at lingerie they have these beautiful charms which I kind of want to order one. Um, I think they have a shop now in New York, and I could probably order it from there. And it's like a keychain charm kind of situation. But yeah, I used the bonjour. As you can see, I used my um, uh, stays on. I used what was it? Timber brown. I used yeah, timber brown stays on. Because I didn't want the lines to be so dark and black. I wanted because I'm using the my typical shabby chic colors, and I used also the um, the French macaroon um, outline to make my project because I wanted to use my distress inks for it. So in this, all the colors are robin's egg blue, lavender pink, and a little bit of touch of green. It's okay. So let me show you guys what I made. Um, and I'll, as I go along, I'll show you the other stuff that I used. This is my. I don't know if it's a bottle cap charm, whatever. I'm totally, yes, and I was totally inspired by Sabrina. She's also on the design team, and she makes amazing bottle cap um, charms. So as you can see, my little obsession with the um, French macarons right there, because I'm a piggy. All right, so I went ahead and took this large um, bottle cap. This is the largest one in the set that you get, and I painted it with... Um, old white any Sloan chalk paint and then I just distressed it a little bit because I wanted it to look like an old vintage uh, an old vintage piece and you can see I also sanded the inside which was not easy sanded all the way around and um, and the paper I actually paint, uh, colored this on the range of watercolor paper and then just used my distress inks and as you can see I did these centers a little bit darker I did a little bit of shading on the left to make it look like the light source was on the right hand side and this is actually a pin a corsage pin I think and I wanted to put a little banner where I use the bonjour and it's all layered I made the green ones I really didn't like the green one the way I painted it I colored it so I just you know kind of covered it up but I wanted to look like they were all in here like a um like they're just stacked in there and here's a few little dangles and a little bling right there but yeah this I wanted to look like it's something in the pastry like a little um, I'm gonna put like a little sign that had a little little peg with a little bone shirt. and I don't have any ironically I didn't have any little toothpicks or any little pegs so I just used the pin and it worked and then I hang the hung the charms there's tons of little charms these um, are from various places all over whatever <laughs> um, this was actually from a necklace but this charm I actually made and this is what I meant that it took I had, it took me two days uh, to work on this because you have to make these. This is at, made out of, just to you. show you real quick, this is the clay that I used. And this is hardy, super lightweight uh, modeling clay. It comes in white. And the cool thing, you guys, I totally recommend it because I didn't notice until after I got the package <laughs> that it says acid free. So if you guys know for your project, if you want to add embellishments, and I know sometimes we make resins and stuff like that, um, because you can use resin, we use like clay and stuff. This is actually acid free, so it won't harm your um, your crafts and everything, and it totally doesn't mess it up. So it doesn't mess it up and super lightweight. So hope that helps you guys. 
So I made large ones and here and I used by the way I watched a tutorial online by Puff Teak and just you know search there are several different ones um of them and I just use this and it's super super cute to go with a little I was actually gonna have them here layered and whatnot but since they were different sizes I was like no I'll just have them dangling here's some charms and these are just little charms that I made from little necklaces and bracelets that I had here's a smaller one I made in four different sizes I'll show you the the largest size in a minute this is the the second largest here's a little medium I made them in all the colors that I have on the charm on the, on the uh, colored pieces and here's just some more, this is just random beads. And here's another one. Here's this little, little bitty bottle cap. I don't have that little hole making tool. I just used my, um, my crop it out. So I kind of crushed this little, uh, this tiny bottle cap to make a hole in it. But I put one of these little blue crystals right there. Here's another charm. And here is this tiny, tiny, tiny one. This one is pink. I made, like I said, I made those four colors. And here's a little charm. A little um, Eiffel Tower charm, which I actually got from some Prima chain or something like that. But it was gold. It was gaudy gold. So I just um, rubbed a little bit of um, silver alcohol ink on it. But yes, and it dingles. Let me show you guys. So there's, it goes from the largest to the small of the little macaroons. And they're super lightweight, you guys. And there's the little, I'm serious, this little bottle cap, i uh, super adorable. And this huge bottle cap. But there's a little charm right here. And I just use a little hook. And the stamp set I used on this ribbon, this is seen by your ribbon. I went ahead and stamped it with uh, Timber Brown ink as well. And then I dyed it. I hand dyed it with, um, and I'll show you guys in a second. I hand dyed it uh, with just reinkers that I had. But yeah, so let me put that down and I will show you guys. Super, super cute. I absolutely, I've been actually wanting to make this project for a while and um, I found that I ground too. So uh, here is the, let me show you guys. Here's the seam binding and this is chalk white. I have tons of chalk white. I buy it by the roll because I like to dye it myself. And this is just stamped and I made some just stamped and then some stamped and then I dyed it in blue with uh, several different shades of blue to get this kind of pastel -y blue. Um, but the funny thing is I had to iron it again because once you dye it, it gets all crinkly and I like it crinkly, but, um, I had to dye it and then stamp it because I stamped it and then dyed it, it didn't come out. So yeah, so that is that right there. Let me show you guys the other little, I made tons of these. If I can get them all over here. Oop, making a mess. And they're super lightweight. Use them for charms. And I didn't have the little loop thingies. Because I went to the store, I went to Michael's, and I asked them for it, you know, to make charms. They looked at me like, well, actually, they said, do you have a picture? If I had a picture, I probably would have found it myself. Thanks a lot. So here are the ones that I made. I made different sizes to go along with, uh, I really wasn't sure how I was going to put it, but I wanted different sizes. And it's going to be like a little decor piece, because I just have little cake stands or little cupcake stands. We all have those in our craft room, little domes. And this can go just perfectly as a cute little, like, just, just a decoration. Like, seriously, like, a decoration. And if you want to make a charm out of it, boom, there you go. Make a charm, charm out of it. So, yeah, I have those colors, and they're all, and the clay comes in white. And so I just, you know, dyed it. So this is the largest size that I made. And I put them in this little box, and you can see right here on the side. This is just some little acetate box that I had. I have a lot of packaging. I love packaging um, to put little things in, little charms or whatever. So here's the ribbon. I used the ribbon again, and I tied it, and then I made this cute little tag. This is using the watercolor paper as well, the back side of it, because it's flat. And I just colored another one of these, and I just popped it up on this one. And this is all using the Distress Inks, and just a little bonjour tag right there. Even though it's on the ribbon, I just wanted to make a cute little tag. And then I tied the bow first, and then I tied the little um, jute twine over it. Because sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get it perfectly, and this is just the easiest way. But yeah, so there are my little macaroons. And this is a little gift set, like if I wanted to send this to somebody, this is a full little gift set. There's the, the thing that they could keep, and they can use this. Like let's, I love making things that you can gift, because what's the point of crafting all of these things if you can't share them, right? So, um, but yeah, so this way it'll they can use these these are the larger ones they can use this one or if you wanted to make like little gift sets with the smaller ones there you go and just got to use that little stamp again and the little accent same thing i just colored it real quick with the distress inks so yeah i just you know like i said one day they're going to kick me out of paris because i ate everything 
but <laughs> could you expect anything dumber from me? Um, so yeah, so you guys go ahead and check out um, the Art Attack shop. And like I said, this giant bottle cat, you can use all kinds of stuff. Now you're probably asking why I didn't use um, Crystal Accents or the Mod Podge one, which I have no idea what it's called, Dimensional something or other. Well, because I don't have any. <laughs> I thought I did, and then I didn't. I have just a little bit in one of the bottles, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to be enough for it because I want. I actually thought about filling it. I actually thought about going to Michael's or Joanne's or whatever the hoot, getting that Dimensional junk and just like filling the whole thing. But I, I wasn't sure how it would work with the watercolor paper. So anyway, but yeah, I was just going to pour it in there, just like make it, but then I'm like, it's going to weigh like 50 pounds probably. So yeah, so that is my little project, you guys. I really hope you like it. It's so, I don't know, I just love the combination of these colors and everything, and the fact that it has some of my favorite treats. I have a friend that actually makes me um, French macarons. So yes, I totally love it. Let me know what you guys think. I got to take a few pictures and maybe post them as well, because... I'm in totally love. I'm totally in love with this project because I've been wanting to make these and make these huge charms for so long. But um, so yes, and Sabrina, thank you, thank you for the inspiration, you guys. She is awesome. So yeah, hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just sitting here playing with the dang macarons. Let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.